Here with, uh, well, with a legendary Paul Diano, former singer of Iron Maiden, Benelson, Kurt McGill, <laughs> Killers and Praying Mantis. Now some time after the show, um, are you happy with uh, how the show went today? Um, as a first concert, you can't really expect much more, to be honest with you. Because, um, you know, the guys rehearsed, but I didn't rehearse with them because you know, I've been on tour in Russia and there. And, I'm, you know, like... I've got problems with the voice and all that bullshit, but like, yeah, uh, the guy's done great, but it's the first show. Tomorrow will be tight again. Um, one or two shows, it's always a little bit loose, yeah, but like next week we've got about four concerts together, so it'll be tight again, you know what I'm saying? Um, you go away, come back, but you know, I trust these guys in my life, especially him. We, you know, we've been brothers for fucking years, us two, so like, you know, <laughs> yeah, brothers for life. Yes. And, mm. And it, nah, they're good, they don't let me down. I, I fucked up once tonight, and he did a little bit. But um, but there you go, but it's one of the things. It's like, uh, they rehearsed something hell, else, and I was thinking something else, it didn't quite work out. Because I always do it for fun. In some of the songs I put, like, one or two of my favorite songs, I can work it into mine, yeah? And what we was doing with the Beast of Rose was like Thunderstruck, you know, just for a laugh. And I was only supposed to sing the chorus like three times and then go straight back into the Beast of Rise again, but they thought I was going to do a verse of Thunderstruck. So we kind of fucked that one up. Um, it's like I was using the same song again um, with Running Free uh, in Mexico, which is actually putting Bob Marley in there. Like, if I can get up, stand up for your rights, it kind of works, you know. I, I just have these mad ideas and they work. It's just like showing a different genre of music and. You know, you're aware of other things, you know, you're, you're not so sort of like singular, it's like, oh, heavy metal water, because I, I don't come from metal, I come from punk, you know, so, yeah, yeah so it's kind of cool, so we did that, so it kind of screwed up a little bit tonight, and he fucked up with Creed Pop, because he was picking his ass or something, <laughs> I'm like, one, two, three, four, and he's like, oh, okay, <laughs> but it kind of works, but, but that's how we are, though, because, um, it's not with me, it's always been not regimented, I came from punk, and you expect fuck up, you know, I mean, we're not so, I mean, I've seen some of these big bands, you know, with the big lights and the monsters and crap like that, I'm not just talking about Iron Maiden, because yeah, like, that's... when you see those big lights and the monsters, and like, you can sometimes, you don't listen to how bad they're playing, with us, it's very raw, it's on the line, and when there's a fuck up, there's a fuck up, and you laugh it off, yeah. you know, you laugh it off, because that's what music's about. I must say, uh, yeah, I really respect uh, how you managed to put on today because you really had a yeah. tough time I thought with your, with your voice. Take care of me anyway one way or the other as I say it was a first show and the sound wasn't so great up there on stage but you know you do what you can and you have yeah. to do what you can and um, I know my voice is going to get even worse tomorrow but people see I'm trying on stage I'm not just like oh god I've got to be really quiet or just sing gently I can't do that it's not in me um, I have to try, and if it gives up, it gives up. But I think the fans would appreciate that I lost the voice pushing it instead of being the pussy. I'm like, I can do anything, ladies like and gentlemen. You know, like, fuck that bullshit, it's crap. So you, I, I do what I do. I've, I've always sung hard all my life, and I can't change it. And, you know, people say, oh, you got a whole bag and whole bag. And especially with the concerts I do, about 300 a year. Fuck that. It's normally no problems. It's just that my show, it's just there. Yeah. That's why you only go and play there every three years. It's like going to hell. I've been in prison for five years. Yeah. The, the, the funny thing is, I, I watched uh, the early days uh, DVD year today, mm. and I understood one of the reasons you quit Maiden was because of the touring. No, see, that's Not? Bullshit. That's, that's bullshit. All right. Ah, all right. What's your story? My story is, is that it's politics. <coughs> And I'm not going to say any more about that because, you know, we're still friends and stuff like that. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's put it this way. Like, Iron Maiden, whose band is it? Steve Harris. Exactly. Yeah. And I only got one song on the on the Killers album. Well, I had about 20 more better than that. Uh, but it was my song. <laughs> so that's it. But you know, it's politics. But it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. It's one of those things. And it started getting a bit too heavy metal on the second album. You know, I came from well, yeah. punk metal. Yeah. The first album I thought was the best. To be honest, with the production is shit, but you know what you do. Yeah. But there you go. But it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't about touring. I did lose my voice um, in Germany at the same time. Klaus, mine lost his, and I went to see the same specialist because Klaus gave me the guy's number in Switzerland, 
and I say around Klaus's house and got this together, and it you know it came from Scotland. Yeah, 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 and I, I stayed with him in Cologne and that, and it was great, and I've never had any problems since. And okay. all that bullshit came about. He's like, oh yeah, Paul doesn't want to tour so much. I'm like, fuck off. I mean, look at what I do over the last ten years, three hundred concerts a year. I mean, I, I, and I do things like about forty-eight concerts straight, with you know maybe half a day or one day off. Uh, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, all that crap. He's like, I don't want to tour. <sighs> I love touring. It's my life. How do you look back uh, on your career as it went so far? It's a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too fucking long. Um, up and down. Um, no, no, it's been successful in, in pretty much every way. Um, obviously, when you leave a band like I made and your first albums are going to be Curiosity, and I did something completely different from the first, you know, like the first solo album. We went straight to number one in Japan, you know, like the first Western artist ever. We had all kinds of shit going on, and you know, and the Battle Zone was really successful in America, and, and then we changed the Killers. It's the same band, we just changed the name because of contractual shit. We done great. Um, then, you know, I went solo completely and put the Nomad album out ten years ago. We done twenty five million records. You know, so it's been good. It's been good, but as I said, it's not. It's what I do and what I love, but it's not the everything, you know what I mean? The everything is my family, you know, and, and my brothers and everybody, and that's, that's it, you know. I, when I actually leave this, there's no return for me, I'm done. I am done, because I am tired, I've worked very hard, and I will only reform to do something for 81, if we need, like, for Hells Angels and stuff there. But me, it's going to be just fishing, sitting around, scratching my balls, watching TV, I'm trying to have another baby, but we got like two years for that, yeah, so that's all good, yeah. Uh, a question about if you have any plans for new bands, a project um, or so, no, but... We're, but, we're uh, writing at the minute. I haven't made a new album for over 10 years, yeah, because I'm always busy touring, but at the moment we're all writing at the minute. Yeah. Um, so there could be three albums come out in about the next two years. So Dom and all these guys here and Joey and everyone, we're all writing now and stuff. So there'll, there'll be one for Northern Europe. Um, and I'm doing some other stuff with some friends of mine in Brazil. So they could be two albums out in about two and a half years. But the main, the main priority is Europe. So, yeah. yeah, I guess that was, that was the last question. Uh, anyway, I want to thank you a lot. Uh, is there still anything you want to uh, say to our listeners? Um, well, I was very worried tonight and I was very nervous, obviously, up there. I, was, I, I get nervous every night. I'm almost puking before I go on stage. And it's happened all my life. And the day that doesn't happen is the day to actually say, that's it, I'm done, because it doesn't mean anything in here. But so, so nervous tonight because after what happened in Russia, and I was really scared, but you know, I got some sleep. So we, we kind of made it. So I just want to say thanks for coming and the support was awesome, but I could do better. So hopefully next year I'll do better again. It's like, I, I judge myself. No one judges me except for me. And it wasn't so good tonight, so I feel it inside, so I'm not really happy, you know. I'm still really tired, I'm still really sick, but I try my best. And he is always his, uh, he's, he is always his uh, hardest critic. Crit 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 yeah, I am the hardest yeah. critic of myself, yeah. but the thing yeah. is, normally I'm okay, you know what I mean? But like, as yeah. I said, I was really nervous, the voice is shit. It, there's not enough power there, and there's certainly no high notes. So I'm like, ah, what the fuck, so, you know, you do what you do. Anyway, got away with it, got away with it, but that's not good enough, it should be better. So I just want to say thank you for the support and thanks for the shout and the encouragement, that was good enough. That got me through, thanks. Well, uh, thank you for uh, the interview. Yeah, it's been an, uh, been an honor. Anytime, anytime.